Hello guys, my name is Luke the Lego guy, and today we will be reviewing the X-Wing Starfighters set, and the set number is 75218, and the piece count is 730 pieces. Let's take a look at our minifigures first. So if I just put that out the way. And then those. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, Biggs. Um, this set is based off of the New Hope. So these characters are, their designs are from the New Hope. Alright. Uh, so, this is Biggs. Uh, his last name is Dark Lighter. So, Biggs Dark Lighter is his name. He is a pilot. He is Luke's friend. He has some printing on his torso. Right, right here. It's the X Wing pilot tor a torso and leg printing. It's the same as Luke Skywalker's. His face, if we take off his helmet, he has a mustache. And he has more of a stern look here. And then if we twist that around, you will see that he has more of a happy face. If you look at the back printing, can just say that it's, it's pretty basic just the vest the vest goes onto the back so does the belt it's some detailing um if we flip him around he has some hip printing as well which will continue it, it's a like continuer from the torso to the legs so when you have like this tube right here that runs through it you have pockets some Maybelline ammo. He does come with a blaster, but I did lose it. But, um, his helmet is, if you put it back onto him, it's very different printing. It's the same mold as Luke Skywalker's, but has some different printing on it. It's this, like, checker pattern. Some little details are here. And it also has some right there. There. It, it goes around the helmet, basically. And the back, I would say that's where the least amount of detail is. But even still, you can see the checker pattern go up the, like, ridge right here. You can see these. Those, like, patterns right there. You saw that. The patterns right there. And there. If we put back there. His droid is R2-Q2. He is an R2 unit. He has the same design, let's say, like mold, as R2-D2 and, and other astromech droids. He has a dome piece. He has a little piece that lets him swerve around a little bit. So you can just spin him, flip him. He's all silver. As you can see, his silver and black details, some blue and red here. You can like pose the legs at different angles. But uh, on the back of the dome, the the printing goes all around. But on the back of the this piece right here, it, it does not continue. It stops in the front. It does not continue to the back. So the back is kind of bland. Uh, let's take a look at the other characters, which is, let's take a look at R2-D2 first. He is the same design as R2-Q2, except he, he's white and blue, like silver and so just all silver. So that's their difference. He has white legs, some blue printing, let's take this out of here. I don't know if that's try it's supposed to be pink, maybe? Some lighter blue, dark blue around the dome. There's some printing all around. Some buttons, I believe. 
these white rectangles that are on his body. He is. You can do the same things. As you, you can do the same things you could with uh, other astromech droid. You can just flip it around. You can move it. All right. Now let's take out our last minifigure, which is Luke Skywalker. His accessory is his. And Anakin's lightsaber, which Obi Wan gives to him in A New Hope. So, yeah. Um, let's. His face printing is the same as the Tatooine sets that came out in the 2019 Winter Wave. This came out in the 2018 wave for The Last Jedi, I believe. Or the summer wave. I do not, re I do not remember. But um, his face printing is the same. He has a stern look. And he has more of a smile, a smirk. It's, it's more like I did it. His printing, like I said, is the same with Biggs. They don't change because it's a uniform. So it's uh, the vest. The respiratory breathing system, I think. Uh, the straps, in the back, you have the vest pieces, you have the belt that continues. The hip printing, it's more or less the same. But um, if you take a look at the helmet, the helmet is where the difference comes between their uniforms. Hit Luke Skywalker, is, he has the rebellion symbol on his helmet. He has a red stripe going up the middle. You have some like yellow and black stripes. You have yellow, red, some sort of detailing on the helmet on the side. I don't know what that is. Maybe how many TIE fighters he shot down. I don't know. But I doubt it because he just started. He's just added to the rebellion. Not really added. But he has this black line as well circle lines in the back you can see the detail goes around but doesn't connect at any point so that could be a problem i don't think as a, of it as a problem not like i like this but if you look the minifigures and the droids i would say are good many people don't like them because of the helmets that they have but uh I think they're fine. Let's take a final look at them. On some stands so you can see them in better lighting. So we have the two, two astromech droids right there, R2Q2, R2D2. Fine, they're good because you can switch them out on the X-Wing, which we'll take a look at later. So they're cool. I mean, they've been using the same design. It works. Except I, I wish it would add a third leg on the bottom. I've seen people do it, so that's more accurate. But maybe that won't work with the design. I don't know. But um, you know, let's take a look at the mini figures. Your Bigs and Luke. Different helmets, different face printing, different accessories. Same torso, hip, leg printing. Now let's look at the, the set itself. Um, Alright, so take a look at the side first just to see. Because both sides are basically the same, kind of. They have the same play features. Because it's a ship, they need to be even. So here, on each side, there's these cannons. These guns, laser guns. This, this. And then you also have this landing gear on the bottom. You can see that fold it up like that. And then you just put it up and then you can have it flying if you want it to be landed. Then, uh oh. You just wanna land it like that. You can land it like that. Now. Here comes the fun part. 
you. So it's not really the fun part, but if you just grab this and then you see, see this right here, this like lever, pull that up, the X Wing goes into the X Wing mode. And it also shoots the um, Abyssal. That's one of the play features. They added these uh, spring loaded shooters. Which, um, I guess, yeah, it's for playability. Um, you could mod this so that you just have the cannons. I like to leave it like this. I think it looks cool. You have stud shooters on the side, as you can see. Right here. Right here. Alright, if you just push this bottom, bottom part right here, down, the next one goes back. Alright, yeah. That we have to look at that you now that we have done that the cockpit opens you can fit any minifigure in there you can fit let's fit Luke you can fit Biggs in there but I just like Luke in here because this is I believe based off of his or maybe both of theirs I don't know I believe it's based off of Luke's you see him in there just Fit them in there very nicely, nicely fit. You have some detailing on um, that goes up the X wing. Show that's been worn. You have a control panel right there. So that's good. Um, close that. You have some stickers on the engine, on the wings too. Nothing on the bottom. The bottom's kind of good. You just see the landing gear. You have the cannons, I launched another one of the spring loaded shooters, launched another one. But so we have the where the astromech goes, we could put in R2 D2. R2 D2 fits very nicely in. You flip it. He's not coming out. Same right there. He's not coming out. Um, on the back. Oh god, two engines came off. All right, you have these engine pieces which use the barrels and the wheel pieces with some pink. There to signify that's fine. You have some grooving towards this like middle section. Put that down. Uh, you have these rubber bands that help the wings go up and then you also have it so that I can go down so that's nice uh, they're supposed to be these on the bottom just so you know they just they sometimes fall off it's very aggravating sometimes but uh if you just touch the engines then you're fine but um let's put up the landing gear Put right here. That's the review of set seven five two one eight, the X-wing Starfighter.